interaction design is like, it's kind of a culmination of a design philosophy that, that's centered on research and uh, understanding people's needs and how we're going to deliver them to them. The challenge that we received in this class was to redesign the user experience for Adobe Creative Cloud. You might freak out when you're freaking out. <laughs> you know, we're doing design research and we're thinking about how people interact and experience products. Um, we got assigned some personas and uh, we had to design software or flows for software for uh, specific needs for uh, collaboration online and uh, we're just trying to make it easier for people to use and I guess a bit more fun as well. And the collaboration was the largest challenge and then the secondary challenge was trying to fit these design ideas within the context of um, Adobe Creative Cloud. I, I feel good, um, I'm just not sure if I'm taking this in the right direction at the moment. It's, it's a month-long project, so yeah, it is a lot of work. My name is Michael Goff, and I'm the Vice President of Experience Design at Adobe. I essentially run the group that is responsible for the design of all the applications. A class is focused on something that's near and dear to my heart, which is the, the confluence of the work we're doing at Creative Cloud. There is an opportunity to create a much more collaborative uh, environment for students, especially uh, creative students. Luckily, one of the one of the most prolific and I think really valuable writers in the area is a guy named Hugh Doberly, and we actually we got him to come into the class. I'm Hugh Doberly. I manage a service and software design firm here in San Francisco. So it's a really good assignment, but. It's a very complicated problem, which is one of the reasons it hasn't been well solved already. The main thrust of the presentation was around telling a story about how the persona that the student had been assigned would interact with a piece of software, and that was represented through um, an animated keynote presentation. I think now we're at a place where, uh, again, because of the information, explosion of information, applications and access and flow, people designing interactive systems have an opportunity to not only develop interesting games, interesting tools, but potentially start impacting larger social problems. <laughs>